哈利路亚，各位主内亲爱的弟兄姐妹，传道同工弟兄姐妹，长持大家平安。哈利路亚 ，May peace be with all their brothers and sisters, the ministers, the deacons, and everyone else that is here today. 今天早上安息圣日，要以哈巴古书的信息作为互相勉励的题目。Today, the topic for our mutual encouragement will be from the book of Habakkuk. 我们最近读经。进度进到小先知书里面的哈巴古书 ，and our Bible reading plan has brought us to the minor prophet Habakkuk. 平常我们比较少学习这卷书 ，and we it is very rare for us to study this book. 但是这卷书其实有很多美好的道理 ，but in this book there are many wonderful teachings. 啊，每一个先知替神传讲神的话语，都有当时的时代的意义。And every message that the prophet has said all has its wonderful meaning. 是特别为了当时的人写的。And it was written for the people of that time. 但是圣经是永恒的。But the Bible is is um is forever. 所以圣经也是为我们当代的人写的。And so this message is also for us today. 所以透过学习神的话语。So learn through the words of God. 我们会知道怎么样面对现在我们。身处的时代 ，We will know how to face the society that we are in today. 早上我们从哈巴谷里面找一个主题 ，So this morning we will have a message from Habakkuk. 啊，就是这要到几时呢 ？And this topic is until when? 我们看哈巴谷书的第一章。Let us turn to the book of Habakkuk, chapter one. 第一节 ，Verse one. 哈巴谷书第一章第一节。Habakkuk chapter one verse one. 先知哈巴谷所得的末世第二节 Verse two. 他说：“耶和华，我呼求你，你不应允，要到几时呢？我因强暴哀求你，你还不拯救。”请读，请你读。Verse one. The burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. Two. O、oh、Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Even cry out to you violence and you will not save. 第一节，第二节，这里先知啊，跟神呼求。And in verse two, the prophet cries out to the Lord. 这要到几时呢 ？And he says, "How long will I cry?" 为什么他会这样讲 ？And why will he say this? 因为他对信仰，他对神呢、啊，有点怀疑了。That is because he had doubt in God. 我们常常说信仰是一个过程。We often say that our journey is a is a process. From when we don't trust God, we don't know God. Starting from when we do not know God. Then, later, we become a little doubtful, half believing. And we may be lukewarm, and we will have doubt. Then, later, we have experiences. And then, after we will have experiences. We trust God. And we will believe in God. This is called from doubt to faith. But sometimes, we will go back to the other direction. But sometimes, we will go back to the other direction. But sometimes, we will go back to the other But sometimes we may go backwards in this journey. Even though we believe in God, but we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, um, items in our life. But we have encountered many, uh, many, We may realize that these things are not what we have expected. And we will wonder if I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficulties? And we will wonder if I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I believe in God, why do I encounter all these difficult situations? If I Although we may not say it, 但是这个是常常会发生的。But this is something that often happens. 先知在这一卷书里面就代替百姓来发声，发出一些疑问。And the prophet here voices out his cries and questions for the for the Israelites. 他很多疑问。And he has many questions. 在这卷书里面有两大疑问，他要来问神的。And in this book, there are two big questions that the prophet asks. Because these two questions, if they are not solved, they will not continue on in faith. Because if these are, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very difficult for him to continue in his faith. So, if these questions are not answered, it is very dif
他的信心也得到神的帮助，重新的回来。But through this situation, the prophet was also raised up in his faith. 虽然有怀疑，但是到最后，他还是选择继续的相信。And although he had his doubts, but in the end, he still chose to believe. 啊，坚持他对神的信心。And and that is it showed his faith for God. 所以要从怀疑，要回到信仰的道路上面。So from doubt, he returned to the path of faith. 啊，在也刚刚这节这些。第二节所说的要到几时呢？这个是一个非常常见的问题。And in verse two it says, "How long shall I cry?" And this is a very important question. 当我们信心受到考验的时候 ，Once our faith has been tested， 我们会常常问，到底要等到什么时候 ？We often ask, "Until when will it end?" 啊，如果生活过得很好 ，If we are living a great life， 很健康 ，And we are very healthy， 啊，钱很好赚。And we are gaining a lot of money. 一帆风顺 ，and everything is going smoothly. 这个时候你不会问，哎呀，我这那么好的日子要等到什么时候呢 ？We won't ask at what time will this end. My life is living so good. 你会觉得是理所当然的。We will think that this is supposed to happen. 但是当一切不一样了 ，But once everything changes， 你就会问 ，We will ask， 哎呀，这种情况不晓得要等到什么时候。When will this difficult time end？ 比如说你在受苦。For example, if we are suffering, you are in the hospital. And when we are in the hospital, you are asking, "When can I leave the hospital?" We will ask, "When can I leave the hospital?" Ah, this disease has been plaguing me for so long. When will it end? And we will say, "This this sickness has been with me for so long. When will it finish?" Or you are like a priest who asks, "God, I pray, you don't listen. When will it end? And when will it end?" Or we will be like the prophet and say, "God, I am praying to you in this way. When will you listen?" Many times when we pray, we may not actually get an answer from God. We call someone else. Now, many times when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call somebody else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Many times now when we call someone else, a lot of people don't pick up. Pick up their phones. Now, 接电话只有老人，年轻人都不接电话。And now only the elderly will pick up their phones. 啊，为什么呢 ？And why is that? 不想回呀。That is because they don't want to reply. 或者有时候你发信息给别人，已已读不回啊。And many times you are left on read when when you send a message. 哎，有时候啊，你祷告也会这样的感觉。And sometimes when you pray, you may also feel this way. 明明都祷告那么久了，怎么都没回应？那等等到什么时候呢？ You've been praying for so long, but you have no reply. When will you, when will you get an answer? Or you see that justice is not served. Or you see that justice is not served. Wow, this world is full of injustices. Every day, they are happening. And you see that there is lots of unfairness in this world. Ah, this kind of situation will come until when? When will this be until? Ah, when faith is tested, this question will come up. So when faith is tested, this question will come up. So when our faith is tested, this question "When" will often occur. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this feeling. Not only does the prophet have this question, we also have this When will my children be able to go to school so they can stop bothering me at home? 每个人都会问要到几时呢 ？Everyone is asking when will it be until. 我们来讲讲哈巴谷书这个时代的背景，当时到底是一个什么的世界 ？So let us talk about the background of the book of Habakkuk and what the times were. 啊，我们看下一个那个图啊，这个历史的这个实践图。And we see here it's a historical timeline. 在大卫王的时候啊，本来以色列国是一个国家，很强大。During the time of King David, the kingdom was very strong. 他把这个国家呢交给他儿子所罗门。But after it was handed down to his son Solomon. 那所罗门一开始还是不错。Solomon in the beginning was not bad. 但是后来老了之后呢，糊涂了，犯罪了。But after he got old, he committed sin. 所以他死了之后啊，这个国家就分裂成为北朝以色列。跟南朝犹大 ，and after King Solomon died, this kingdom was divided to the northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judah. 一个国家没有神的同在，就会分裂。And when a kingdom does not have God abiding with them, it will it will split. 就好像世界的国家一样，打内战。It is just like the the countries today when they have an 
internal battle. 北朝以色列呢，常常都是每一个君王都是坏的，都是拜偶像。And in the northern kingdom of Israel, almost every single one of their kings was bad, and they worshipped the idols. 所以神就审判这个罪恶的北朝。And that is why God judged the northern kingdom. 就容许这个亚述帝国在公元七百二十二年就消灭了以色列，北朝了。And that is why God allowed the Assyrian kingdom to come take over in 722 BC. 但是南朝犹大国还是存在。But the southern kingdom of Judah still existed. 因为啊，神要留着犹大。That is because God wanted to keep Judah. 给他们机会。He wanted to give them a chance. 但是过了一百一百年，那个犹大国还是很罪恶，不悔改啊。But after hundreds of years, the kingdom of Judah still did not repent, and they were full of sin. 所以哈巴谷大概就是在主前六百一十年左右的这个先知。So Prophet Habakkuk was around the time of 610 BC. 那个时候北朝已经没有了。And at that time, the northern kingdom was already destroyed. 南朝还是存在。But the southern kingdom was still there. But all the kings were still very corrupt. And there were lots of injustice in the in the kingdom. It is just like the world today. For those who are rich, they are very rich. And they will oppress the poor. 那些政治人物啊，勾结那些有势力的人啊，拼命刮财，那那个穷得很辛苦。And all of the politicians will go and be nice to the the people who have money, but then the poor people will say poor. 那社会上没有公义。And there is no justice in the world. 所以这个先知也看不下去、啊。So Habakkuk was was could not look at this any longer. 所以他就在哈布古书里面向神问一些问题。So that is why, in the book of Habakkuk, he asked these questions to God. 等一下，我们再来讲到底他问什么问题。And later on, we will cover the questions he asked. 好，我们看第一章的第一节。Let us look at chapter one, verse one. 这里说先知哈巴谷所得的末世。And here it says the burden or oracle which the prophet Habakkuk saw. 小先知书里面很有意思，每一个小先知的人名跟他的书的主题是有关的。And it is very interesting because every minor prophet, their name is related to what is said in their books. Habakkuk 这个字的意思呢，就是有拥抱、怀抱的这个意思。And Habakkuk means to embrace. 啊，就好像这个图一样。It is just like this picture. 我们知道人呢，从小都很喜欢 baby， 都很喜欢被妈妈、爸爸抱。We know that babies often like to be embraced by their parents. 如果一个孩子啊，常常被父母抱，他会感觉很安心，情绪很稳定。When a child is often held by their parents, they will be very emotionally stable. 到长大了，我们还是需要被拥抱。But when we grow older, we ought, we still need to be embraced. 也可能东方的文化，长大了就没人抱你了。It may be that in the Asian culture, when you grow older, nobody hugs you anymore. 其实啊，被拥抱很重要。But it is very important. 尤其是在你伤心的时候，你悲伤的时候。Especially when you are sad and you are grieving, or when you need support and comfort. There is a hug that will make your emotions calm down. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug is there, you will be calm. When that hug We should not be shy. That Habakkuk's name is "embrace." And Habakkuk means to embrace. Why is this name very important? 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 When he had questions, God allowed him to ask. 神还鼓励他。And God also encouraged him. 到最后，他的信心重新起来了。In the end, his faith was built up again. 他再一次怀抱神啊。And once again, he embraced God. 也可以说他被神拥抱了。Or we can also say that God embraced him. 他感觉到神没有离弃他。And he felt that God did not leave him. 啊，那但是这个过程是有点时间上的。But this happens when some time passes. That the first verse here says, "Prophet Habakkuk saw." And so here it says, "The burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw." Ah, English, ah, translated as burden. 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 Ah, English, 
这个末世啊，其实也是重担 burden。And we see that the end, the the oracle is also a burden。为什么神的话是重担 ？And why is the words of God a burden？ 有时候神的话不容易接受。Many times the word of God is not easy to be accepted。当然有时候神的话是好像微风、春风啊，滋润你。And many times, it, God's words is like the wind where it nourishes us. But sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is like a giant stone. Sometimes the word of God is But even if this is so, we still have to accept it. 尤其是宣告幕后的一些审判啊，这些事情很沉重啊。Especially everything that is regarding the end times, it is very heavy to take. 但是我们要还是要去接受神的话。But we still have to accept the words of God.、啊、那先知哈巴谷呢？我们刚刚有所说了，他比较特别。And we know here that Habakkuk is a very、uh, unique prophet. 一般的先知书里面呢，都是人代替神讲话给百姓听。And for all the other prophets,、uh, the the prophet speaks for God. 告诉百姓，你要悔悔悔改。And he tells the people that they have to repent. 但是哈巴谷刚好相反。But for Habakkuk, he is the opposite. 他是代替百姓问神问题。He speaks to God on behalf of the people. 很多问题啊，搞不懂啊。And he had many questions that he did not understand. 对于神的安排啊，不知道。And he did not know what the planning was of God was. So, 有时候你也可以问神问题。And today we can also ask God questions. 所以哈巴谷书里面的信息就是问神问题。So the message in the book of Habakkuk is to ask questions to God. 啊，所以当你对神有疑问的时候怎么办 ？So what do you do when you have doubt and you have questions? 我们亚洲人的。亚洲人的这个教育啊，就是说你最好不要太多问题。如果你在学堂里面老是问问题，老是烦老师，老师就不高兴。And as Asians, we are often told that we should not have too many questions because if you ask too many questions, the teacher will not like you. 但是在西方的教育就不一样。But for the Western society, it is different. 西方的教育是你有问题，你要尽量问。The Western society is that if you have questions, you have to ask them. 不问。你就不不是好学生，你要问出来，让老师来解通你的这个想法。Because if you do not ask questions, then you are not a good student, and you need the teacher to help you answer these questions. 有问题压在心里面不问。And if you have questions and you suppress them and don't ask， 不代表你完全的去接受。It doesn't necessarily mean that you accept it。有时候你把这个问题疑问的累积累积累积到最后，你可能说：“哎呀，我承受不了了，我我我不相信了，或者是我不理解了。” Many times you may suppress your questions, and in the end, you will be frustrated and you will give up. Ah, 那神是最好的老师。And God is the best teacher. 信仰是一个最重要的过程。And He is very important in our faith. 所以，到底我们从圣经来想一个问题：到底可不可以问神问题 ？So let us ask the question: Is it okay to uh to question God? 可不可以向神提出疑问？ Can we ask God questions? Ah, 那如果你从圣经里面呢，很多古圣徒啊，对神都很多疑问。And if you look from the Bible, we can see that many of the the people have asked God questions. 从约伯啊 ，Starting from Job， 或者是摩西啊 ，Or Moses， 先知耶利米啊 ，And the prophet Jeremiah， 啊，都是我们学过的。It, these are all people that we have studied. 啊，到到这个哈巴谷啊 ，Until Habakkuk， 他都直接有问题，就直接在祷告当中问神。And Habakkuk asked God questions. So, it is. 看圣经来说，你有问题想要问神是 OK 的，是可以接受的。So it is telling us that if we have questions, it is OK to ask God. 当然，你有问题，你可以从圣经里面找答案。And of course, if we are unable to get an answer, we can look up the answer in the Bible. 但是大部分的信徒啊，如果没有每天读经，圣经不熟的话，你要找答案也找不到。But if you are not a fervent member that often reads the Bible, or you're not familiar with the Bible,、啊、then you can't get your answer. If you have questions, you can go ask the ministers and the preachers. Because they know the Bible a little bit. I say they know a little bit. Is they know a little bit. Not all of them know. Because they know a little bit. 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 And they can share their their thoughts through their own understanding. That's how Habakkuk himself is a prophet. He has questions. He asks who is the prophet? 
But Habakkuk, he himself was a prophet. So if he had questions, then who does he ask? So he had questions, so he asked God directly. It is just the same for us today. Today we believe in God. And when we encounter uh, questions in our faith, you can go look it up in the Bible. You can read the Bible more often. You can ask the ministers. But don't forget that we have the guidance of the Holy Spirit. If you have questions about your faith, you can put it into prayer. And you can ask God directly. And why are we able to do this? So we see here that if we have questions, then we can ask God. But there is one point that we must remember. Regardless of the situation, we cannot leave God. Why is it that we can question God, but we cannot depart from God? And this is a very important point that we have to cover. You can't say that I'm unsatisfied with the answer that I received from God or that God never replies me. You can ask your question, but it is up to God to reply you. Sometimes when when God replies you, you may not understand it. For example, a three-year-old child, he is addicted to the cell phone. And when his parents take away that phone, and they don't allow him to play anymore, he is very angry. Every other child has a phone to play. Why can't I play? How come I can't even play for one minute? You don't you have to tell me why. And even if your parents explain it to you, you are unable to understand because you are addicted. And a three-year-old child should not be playing with a phone. They should be going outside to play. But if a child was to ask a parent, why don't you give it to me? Even if the parents explain it, they do not understand. But one day when they grow up and become parents themselves, he also does not allow his three-year-old son to play. And he will understand 30 years later. It is the same for our relationship with God. If we have a question, we can ask God. And whether or not God replies you, and whatever time God replies you, we do not know. Or we may not be satisfied with God's answer. But we cannot use this as an excuse to leave God. It is just like the example of the three-year-old child. If you do not give me a cell phone and I'm not satisfied, then I will leave home. Then you are losing out yourself. So we can ask God. But we cannot depart from God. So let us see the first question that was asked by Prophet Habakkuk. Let us look at chapter 1, verse 2 to 3. Verse 2. Oh Lord, how long shall I cry? and you will not hear. Even cry out to you violence, and you will not save. Verse 3, Why do you show me iniquity, and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arise. And here we see lots of whys from the prophet's question. Why do you not hear me? Why do you not save? Why do you allow me to see injustice? And there are lots of whys. We know that when a child gets the, around two to three years old, they ask a lot of whys. And the reason why they ask why is because they have begun to think. 
And in our faith, we often ask why. 那总括起来，哈巴谷的第一个问题就是为什么神啊，你那么不公平啊？加一页了。And so the first question is, why does God seem so unfair? 啊，神不是应该是最公平的吗？ Is God not supposed to be the most fair? 神是最公义的，他把所有的律例典章列出来啊。He should be the most just. 啊，赏赐那个做好的，刑罚那个做坏的。He blesses those who does good, and he and he and he uh uh punishes those who do does bad. 但是哈巴谷啊，看他的社会的情况，跟他身边的，好像这个不是很很准啊。But if we see here in this situation, it is not the case. 哦，那个是坏人。哇，整天吃吃喝喝，越越来越有钱，越来越富裕，越来越肥胖。The bad keep eating and drinking, and they are still doing well. 啊，那个穷的没人帮忙，很可怜。But the poor people, nobody helps. 所以他基本上在问第一个问题，就是为什么神你不做点什么 ？So the first question that Prophet Habakkuk asks is, why are you not doing anything? 或者是下一页的告诉我们说，为什么在世界上面，如果你是神？为什么你容许世界上有那么多不公义的事情、不公平的事情 ？And why is there so much injustice in this world？ 我们如果最近打开报纸啊 ，So if we read the newspaper， 最近在美国，因为一个黑人被一个白人的警察虐待，跪，在屈压他的时候跪在他的脖子，让他没有办法呼吸，他是死掉了。If we know about the news, we know that in the states there was a black man who was killed by a white officer. Ah, we know this thing caused the world, even the whole world, many places to come out and protest. And we know that because of this, lots of protests have come up in the world. This also brought many other things to the forefront. And this has happened many times. Ah, some indigenous people were arrested by the police. There are there are indigenous people who are are. Are not treated well by the police. Ah, and from ah, that that poor people, the 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 poor But the rich are not impacted at all. Ah, well, that maybe many people will ask, why is this world so unfair? If God is so unfair, and many people will ask, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for us, why is this world so unfair? If God is looking out for When God created the world, was there anything that was unfair in the Garden of Eden? 没有。No. 在神的创造之下，在乐园里面，一切都是美好。Everything that was in the garden was good. 但是什么时候开始有不公平的事情 ？So when did unfairness and injustice come about? 有流血，有杀人的事情。It happened after there was blood shed for men. 是因为人离开了乐园，犯了罪之后，离开了神才有的事情啊。These all happened after men have sinned against God, and they departed from the garden. So, it is not God who created all these injustices. So, God did not create all these injustices. But that is because men departed from God, and these things happened. But that is because men departed from God, and these things happened. But that is because men departed from God, and all of these things happened. But that is because men departed from God, and all of these things happened. But that is because men departed from God, and all of these things happened. 我们看这个第五节，第一章的第五节。Let us look at chapter one, verse five. Verse five: Look among the nations and watch; be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told you. 第六节 ，verse six: For indeed I am raising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation, which marches through the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. 啊，这也说神对哈巴谷的第一个问题的回答。Here God replies the first question. 哈巴谷说神那里都没有在做事，可不可以做点什么 ？And the prophet says, God, you are not doing anything. Can you do something? 哈巴谷，神说啊，我已经有在做事了，我在准备了。But God says, I'm doing something. I am preparing. 我将要兴起巴比伦人，就是加拉底人，要来毁灭犹大。And he says, "I am raising up the Babylonians, who are the Chaldeans, to destroy them." 只是我在准备做事的时候，你看不到。But you cannot see that I am preparing. 还有神说，我有我的时候啊。
and God has His own time. This is very important. This is very important. So if we look at the next slide, we will see why does God not do something immediately? Because we may think that this this company did something bad or this country did something bad. Why does God not immediately judge them? We are all like God. Oh, I will be the judge. Then I will immediately deal with it. But we all try to be like God and want to make judgment very quickly. But do not forget that God has His own timing. Let us look at John chapter seven, verse five. John chapter seven, verse five. Because they were afraid of him, said this to him. Verse six. Jesus answered them, "I said to you, your time has not yet come." Verse six. Jesus said to them, "I said to you, your time has not yet come. Verse six. Jesus said to them, "I said to you, your time has not yet come." Verse six. Verse five. For even his brothers did not believe in him. Verse six. Then Jesus said to him, "My time has not yet come, but your time is always ready." Ah, I think this verse is very precious. The John Gospel, seven chapter six, verse six. And in John chapter seven, verse six, this is a very precious teaching. Jesus said, "We normally do things quickly. It is easy to do. We want to do it. 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 Because we like to see results right away, and we do not like to wait. But Jesus here says that my time is not the same as yours. God does things; God has His own time. 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 God may be allowing the kingdom of Judah more time so that they may uh, repent. Because if we know from the book of Jonah, God has even God looks very highly upon the lives of the Gentile. You see, your children are very precious. And you look at your own children very preciously. If your children are not good, you will not say, "I will kill them." If your children are not good, you will not say, If your children do not listen to you, you don't say, "I'm just going to kill them." Because you have feelings towards them. So you want to wait for them to repent. And you want to wait for them to repent. So God has His own timing. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, you may not even know it. And when God is working, Seventeen. But Jesus answered them, "My Father has been working until now, and I have been working." Ah, this sentence is very precious. This is also a very precious saying. Don't think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. Do not think that only you see and God does not see. And he looks at it more clearly than you. Who created the hands you have? God created it. And the invisible hands of God is working every single day. And Jesus says, "My Father has been working until now." And Jesus himself is also working. So, many times, God is working quietly in our lives. And many times, God is laying out the cards that are to happen in our lives. You may think that it looks very bad. Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think that it looks very bad. Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think that it looks very bad. Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do something to help me? Or you may think, why does God not do Many people are very impatient. Ah, this epidemic will be over soon, so I can go on vacation. And they think, when will this pandemic be over, so that I can go take a vacation? I can live my old life again. So that life can go back to normal. It seems like God is not doing anything. And it seems like God is not doing anything. We are just waiting for this pandemic to end. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you something. You may
But you may not know that God is using this pandemic to teach you. To adjust your life. To adjust your value. And to adjust the speed that you are taking. So that you have more family time. And you have more time to read the Bible and pray. So that you can understand and prepare yourself for the end times. And the 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 board members have told me. Although we are unable to have 200 people here in this chapel. But if we looked at the attendance and who shows up, it has actually increased. So every single week, when you calculate all the attendees, it is more than the past. That is because everyone takes hold of this opportunity and they come because they can only come once. And now we are oversold in all of our seating. Because they know that the time for services is not many, so they have to take hold of the opportunity. Because there are very less countries who are able to come to have service. From what I know, apart from Taiwan, there is only Canada. And the UK has slowly started, but it is only a few people. But all the other countries, it is not easy for them to come together for service. So God has used this pandemic to teach us. So don't think that God is not helping you when you are ill. But God is using this to teach you. When and you cry to God and ask, when I'm in failing, why do you not help me? Your father in heaven is already working, you just do not know it. And a child is unable to understand the will of the parents. When the parents are busy, they may be sleeping. And when they wake up from their nap, then everything is already arranged. So God has his own plans. And we have to believe in the plans of God. And we should not have doubt. God has a reason. So here it tells us that God has a reason for allowing things to happen. And God will not allow something unmeaningful to happen. And for those who believe God, they may say, My fate is so bad. But under the eyes of God, nothing that is happening is not meaningful. And you may ask God, Why is this happening? God may reply you. And he may not. It may be that when he replies you, you do not understand. But there is something that we have to believe in. And we have to believe that God has more wisdom than us. And he knows everything and understands everything much more than we do. Let us look at Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Chapter 8, verse 28. And many Christians love this verse. Chapter 8, verse 28. Twenty-eight. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And here it says that all things work together. And what is the all things that Paul here is talking about? 
and it is the bad thing. 啊，是什么事？在罗马书八章的二十啊三十五节以下所说的很多患难、困苦、逼迫、饥饿、赤身露体、危险、刀剑啊，这个就是他的万事。And in verse thirty-five, it tells us that all these things is tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, or sword. These things, no one thing is in the eyes of men is a good thing. And if we see here in the eyes of men, these are not good things. That believe in God, if one who believes in God encounters these things, they also think it's not good things. But Paul says, "This is good." 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 But Paul here says these are good. If if God allows these things to happen, then it is good. Because he loves God. And because as long as he loves God, all these bad things are good. And because he loves God, when these things happen, he will hold on to God even more. And he will be be saved. Ah, thirty-seven. In verse thirty-seven. 然而，靠着爱我们的主，在这些事上已经得胜有余了。Thirty-seven. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Ah, so yeah, Habakkuk, 虽然对神有很多的问题 ，and although the prophet Habakkuk had lots of questions for God. God says, "It is not that I am not working, but you have not seen it." 还有呢，我的公义的审判一定会来的。And that my justice and judgment will come. 只是时间而已。But it is just timing. 啊，其中一个 slide 第十八页啊，这里说神的计划，也讲讲一点历史。And here we see a little bit of history. 这里说啊，巴比神的计划就是要用巴比伦人消灭犯罪的犹大国。And here it tells us that the plan of God is to use the Babylonians to destroy the kingdom of Judah. 先知说预言的时候，大概是主前六百一十年。And when the prophet did his prophecies, that was uh six twenty six BC. 大概三到四年之后。And three to four years later, 巴比伦人就第一次了要来掳。The Babylonians came to attack the kingdom of Judah. 总共有三次。And they attacked three times. 六百零六年。In 606 BC. 五百九十七年。597 BC. 头两次掳去犹大人。And they were captivated at that time. 最后一次五百八十六年。And the last time was 586 BC. 整个犹大国都被毁掉。And the whole entire kingdom of Judah was destroyed. 这个是神的营计划，好人。And this was all planned out by God. 看起来又好像是个很悲伤的事情。It may seem like it is such a sad situation. 但是神有他的计划，神的主权就是这样。But God has His plans. 啊，所以我们不要说哦，神都不不报应，神都不做事，神都不讲话。So we should not think God is not helping me and He is not speaking up. 神真的有他的时间。But God has His timing. 所以每次当我们打开报纸。So every time when we open up the newspaper, 看到一些社会上不公义的事 ，and we see all this injustice that is happening in this world. 首先要了解，因为人不听神的话，人才会做出这些事情。We have to understand that this is all happening because men did not listen to the words of God. 神的心也很痛啊，不单止你很生气，神的心更痛啊。Not only are you very angry, but the heart of God is grieving for us. 但是神有神的时间。But God has His timing. 先知要对神重新。抓住这个信心 ，and the prophet is going to once again grab hold onto this faith. 所以无论要等到几时 ，so regardless of when it is. 下次我们当我们问，到什么时候呢 ？The next time we ask, when will this be until? 叫神知道 ，only God knows. 我不用怕 ，and I do not have to be afraid. 做好我的本分，坚持我的信心就可以了。I just have to do my part and grab hold onto my faith. 唱诗 ，Let us sing hymn. 一百四十五。One hundred and forty-five. 